Wallace here. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. We're back to the river again where a paranormal event happened in 2013 in April. And I saw my late mother, Annette Funicello, there at this river with other people that she'd lived and known, her friends, the deceased members of the Mouseketeer Club from the 1950s. But I'll take you to another event today. One it involved in March 2013 of that year, a month earlier. Up on the hill there, my son Holby and myself were beyond the river. This is a month earlier now. And we were there, walking. We'd come down this road here, and we had managed to get to this point here. And we were going to go all the way down this road. You can't see if the road goes all the way down to Clayton. And we looked up at the top of the hill here, and there were two men in black combat uniforms and black black trousers, black hats, and they had rifles. They had binoculars. We had binoculars with us at the time. It's this beautiful countryside. I've got about 20 pairs of binoculars, and I had a pair with me. The men were in black, full black combat gear, black hats, everything. Black gloves and uh, black rifles. They looked American. There was nothing about them that, that had a British look about them. And they pointed to us from the top of that hill from up there and pointed to my son and me down here. Um, we then observed the men come running down the hill right here as fast as they could, chasing us. We got, we got a little bit down the road and we looked back and we could see that the men were in fact coming down this hill, coming after us. Who were they? CIA Quick Reaction Force. As we got down this road here, I'm going to take you down. As I take you through this harrowing event, um, I may have to pause the video. There's a lot of, I don't have a lot of uh, memory here, and there's a lot of ground to cover. My son and I in this very, very dramatic event, very, very, very dramatic event, we're running for our lives at this point. We got. It's incredible that a month later a loving paranormal event would happen in this very spot right here. It's like the mother getting the last word saying, I love you, son, and they didn't get you. Because she died in April. So they were trying to get us a month before Annette passed. They were trying to render me, is my belief, which means they were trying to change, you know, abduct me, change my name and identity, social security card, birth record, everything. It's called renditioning. And the CIA do this when they go to bury people. My name, Jason Moss, though it's not my real name, has a lot of stuff tied to it. They wanted to get me hidden and buried before she passed. They do that. They want to get things going before people... Um, when things start changing and moving around. We were here on this road. As you can see, it goes down that way. This is looking back at the river now. And you can see them coming down that hill. We got here. We looked back. And they were running fast. At this point, my son and I knew. I knew. We were in big trouble. And as a dad, and having served in the army myself, I knew there was only one thing to do. I had a feeling they were American men in black. And this was an abduction attempt that was going down. We ran down this road, the two of us. By the way, this is that forest mother and the other musketeers ran into. As you can see, there's nobody lives in that forest. There's nothing there. One day I think I'll visit that forest. Because when my life ends, I'll come to a forest such as this and meet her there. We had gone down this road, but I decided we were going to go that way. So we went up this road here, which is actually off limits. And we go straight that direction into the Clayton area. I'm even a little nervous coming down here right now as it is, by myself. 
we go down that road, running. As you can see over there, I'm pointing it, and it's a road up there. The grass was very tall. This is wheat, by the way. And it goes on for miles. And we ran for miles from that direction. And they were absolutely determined to get us. I thought, I thought we'd lost them. We got a mile that way. And sure as hell, sure as lake, there it was. They were, they were somewhere in the field still pursuing us. Hot pursuit. Now, as you can see, this is the middle of nowhere. And this is a very interesting forest. I like to get as many pictures as I can here. Oh, that felt nice. What was that? I got a sudden sense of go over my chest, a wave of comfort love. What was that all about? Oh, there it is again. You can think I'm making that up. Is there anything coming up on camera? No, no, I'm here to, I'm here to get this. Well, I love you too. Oh. I'm losing train of thought. That's my mother. Sweet, I love you too. That's very sweet. I'll be back. I'm just gonna do a video. Uh, so we got down that road there and um, it was awful and they, they see they, they were men in black they were chasing us through these fields we went over a few miles we were exhausted we managed to come out from a road down here I'll take you to if I can pause this okay I've I'm unpausing it. You're going to be a little confused where we are now. I'm on that road to Clayton. Now, I was filming way back up there. You can see that the camera don't filter out the daylight too much. And I've come all the way down this road, almost about a half mile from that position. But we ran straight all the way through these fields, way out in the distance. Way off towards what which is Clayton that way and we come around it's just nothing but miles of British farm field and they chased us all the way through there they stopped their pursuit we went to the town of Clayton which is over there and we ended up coming down this road here exhausted having come about six and a half miles on foot my son and I were there at this bus stop we saw a black van here on this very road and the two men were entering it. It was a black tech glass fan. Scary stuff. But I'm not making a video to scare you. I don't want to scare people. Especially any potential lost family that wanted any dealing with me. I'm not trying to scare you. Um, I think if we call... what? Okay, what's the purpose of this? Okay, the purpose of this is to call down their actions. Name it and shame it is what it is. And say, you did this, I identified you, this is you doing this to me, you tried to get me in my kit. Okay, that, that's what this is. It's making it public. You know, the more public you go, the more you get these, the more you get this, this off your back. The more you get uh, the CIA off your back. It's, it's that simple. Mother was a genius. She knew this. But they, they wouldn't let her do it. They stopped her. So, you know, it was down this road our harrowing journey ended and we managed to walk back up this road alone all the way back to the house. But that, off in the distance by that brownish dirt, that's that forest I've been talking about. It's way, way out there. I was just out there. And this is where, where they, they chased us. Uh, it's beautiful countryside. Terrifying event. If they'd, if they'd captured us, they'd have taken us right here in this van. Uh, and here's what would have happened. They'd changed my name and details, maybe even my son's name. And family in, the, in that house never would have seen other of us again. And none of you would have ever got any of these stories about what happened. So that was March 2013. 
CIA abduction attempt that failed because I know how to evade them. As I said, I was in the Army. Um, I've seen many people write books about the CIA. Many people step forward and say they're victims. Uh, but then, then it all stopped. I don't honestly believe you, the family, seeing this of Annette Finicello have anything to worry about. I don't care what threats they've thrown your way or whatever. I don't believe you have any, any worry whatsoever. And if you start talking about it, well, it's it just it's gone. It's just so gone. It's just the way they work. Um, as I said, I'm going to have to come all the way back up this road. i got to walk up it. Please excuse me, I'm 44. I know some of you in your 50s are going, well, I can do that hill. Well, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't want to ride up a hill right now. It's beautiful countryside. Absolutely, just come out here and... But I felt her spirit out there in that forest. I don't know what that is about that forest, but... She's reaching out to me. It becomes kind of a church, doesn't it? It's like a sanctuary for... Her soul went off to the door to the other world there, and uh, felt that intense love. Oh, and I was like, "Oh, what do I do, Mom? Just go out and sit in the forest? What do you want me to do? I might get looked at by the farmers." I'm... I'll go to the forest to meet my mother, <laughs> Mama. I'm here. I'm your baby. I'm here. And watch some door open up and I go through it with her. I've never seen again anyways. Okay. I'm with mom now. And then my video camera's found in the forest. And someone plays it on YouTube. Who, who is this man? What happened to him? Oh, that's going to be a good old walk. But it was them. Nobody else dresses that way. Or looks like that. So, you know, you just say, well, there it is. It smells like woodland down here. Very, very British woodland. Very pretty. They definitely wanted to get a hold of me. That's my video. Thanks for watching.